So, welcome to the look at the Lunochart UI designer component. You can uh, drop into your project and it's you can just build your UIs pretty simple via drag and drop. So well, let's have a look around for now for the uh, for the open one. Uh, closed, no, sorry, forgetting words. Uh, empty one for the empty one. So uh, on top we have tabs. So uh, we can click through them. We have the name, Lunachot Beta, and the build number, which is uh, something different than the version. But uh, just for you to know, the higher the better, probably. And here on the right we have a small icon which uh, just opens the settings basically. Uh, for the component, the parameter page. And uh, what can you change? You can change the grid element size. So one grid element is uh, one of these boxes. So currently they're set to 160. At least for me, this fits pretty good. Uh, you can select the tab is not used, ignore. And you have the grid size. So this is how many of the single grid elements will be displayed and this basically defines the size of the component. So when we change you can see that it's changing in size so you can like build a really small UI or you can uh, build a nice full screen UI. Everything is possible and here you have a list of tabs so as you can see when I change the name here to generator you can see now it's called generator this tab so let's close this one so what can you do when you right click into our grid uh, we can um, place a ui designer or an external tox so maybe let's start with uh, the ui designer which you maybe already have seen uh, I posted this a while ago, so this is just like a drag and drop widget uh, UI designer you can use. So you can uh, move around the component and it will snap onto the grid. So it will look like this or this or this. And also you can resize your component and it will also automatically snap to the to the grid okay so what can you change here you see that states label and uh, on top and here we can change the parameter again we can reload or reset in this case our uh, widget designer so this means just clearing all the widgets inside and we can remove it so when we click remove it removes and uh, just resize this and let's have a look at the settings. So in the settings you can see uh, the label. So this one will be our uh, render. So now it states render here. We can change the widget, uh, how high the widget should be. So let's put them to 40 and we can change the color. So we can categorize our elements a little bit. Let's set them to orange and you can change also the roundness and how big the border should be it's really just cosmetic basically and you can change the tab index so uh, in which tab this one should be so this one is set to zero which is generator so now if I change it to one it disappears but if I go to the second tab it will be visible again so what can we do with this widget designer pretty easy so let's uh, make this one a little bit smaller to go into our network which is here so project one and here you can see I already prepared some uh, sub render elements or just some components so what you can do is you can for one part you can uh, take the component and drop it in and it will create a uh, Viewer. So now you can just uh, interact the same way 
as you can interact with uh, this element here. So for example, if you take a uh, chop, so let's drop in a chop, you can drag and drop around the uh, different elements. So like channels and stuff like this. So no, uh, we can't remove them, little bug, we'll fix. So let's close this one, create a new UI designer, change the size, drop in our sub render. And now if we look at the parameters, we can uh, just drop in a parameter and we create a widget. So now we can like change them inside of the widgets, which is uh, pretty handy. And basically that's it for the UI designer. Uh, so yeah, let's go on to the external. Is, uh, just here and uh, so let's right click and say external talks and what's happening is just going to open a window and there you can select your talks so what I can do for example is just drop in one of the Galileo mappers like the OSC mapper and here they are so now I can just bring them up and here are um, they behave a little bit different than the UI designer, the widget designer. You can uh, have on top, you have for now the name of the talks you loaded in. And here you can copy the path to the loaded external component inside of your network. So yeah. The second one will open the parameter page of the OSC mapper, or in this case, the OSC mapper, and basically for the external talks you just loaded. So if we press it, you can see that we have like all the parameters, just the custom parameters for our component. Also, like we can see the storage, edit, yeah, just the basic parameter page. So, okay, let's go a little bit uh, further. Let's see how we, in theory, could create like a pretty nice UI. So we take our OSC mapper and we create, take a new, uh, a new external component. So let's, for example, the element searcher, which is a nifty little component. So, just resize and maybe go full screen. What we can do here is we can, when we go to the settings, we can uh, search inside of, in this case, project one. And we can search for components and we can even like filter by tags and by type. And then we get this list here of components. So we can see inside of the of parameters, uh, of components, and we can select them. We get a viewer and we get the parameters. So I can just uh, press them here and I can uh, drop them. So when we create a UI designer, I can just drop them in and then I get a complete preview. So I can set myself up a page with different previews for different parameters. So for example, let's take this one also and put put in this one and create a new one and put in the as a sub render. So drop this one. So now we can move it around. And we have our OSC mapper, for example. So we can just take this parameter here for the video player, for example. Let's take play or maybe go to the settings first. Set this one to 8006. And uh, let's drop in our play, activate learn, and use touch OSC to send an OSC message. Maybe do it here. 
this. And now I can just disable this one. And now I can control my uh, component here. And I can also use the play button here and just drop it in. And now I have like my UI where I can control it or I can control it via OSC. So yeah, that's basically enough. We can could th in theory now go to the next step and create a new UI for us. Uh, yeah, but I don't think we need to. So yeah, hope you enjoy.